What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Red 89 here bringing you another rad movie review today to talk about Ghoulies 3. Ghoulies Go to College, yes, from 1991. Like I said, continuing our Ghoulies Rad Movie Review series. This is the third installment in the franchise, and today you're going to find out my feelings on this film. Did this one, did they listen to me from Ghoulies 2? Was it more horror comedy? Did they do the balance right, or is this very comedy heavy or very horror heavy? I don't know. We'll see. Today you're going to hear the positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College, yes, this is quite an interesting entry into the franchise. Again, kind of like Ghoulies 2, you just got to disregard the previous film. This kind of really has nothing to do with Ghoulies 2 at all. Very different style as well as this one. We are following our antics of our Ghoulies buddies. There are three Ghoulies characters in this one, and they are summoned by Professor Ragnar, who ends up finding out that you can summon them through a comic book in this movie. And yes, the incantation and the chants are different again. Like, ignore all the rules and all that stuff. So yes, that is your setup for this film. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the positives right away. Is that Professor Ragnar, who's played by Kevin McCarthy, he knows exactly Exactly what kind of movie he's in and he's a professor at a college campus and he summons the ghoulies to basically end a prank war that's going on between two frat houses that don't listen to him at all he hates these children so that's why he summons the ghoulies so that way he has you know ammunition to fight against them as they go around they're doing their prank war during the college season yes and professor ragnar like i said kevin mccarthy he knows exactly what kind of movies he he is in because as the movie progressive progressively goes on he just gets more wild more campy and the acting just elevates you know what i mean in terms of the scenery and what he's chewing up and yeah this guy is amazing we also have matthew lillard in here during his film debut and yeah it's a blink and miss it cameo but it's kind of crazy 1991 and then it was i believe it's what like six years five years later he would be in scream and be one of the most iconic ghost faces of all time so yes matthew lillard is in this movie also with ghoulies three ghoulies go to college obviously in the title it says they go to college we have some silly college antics there is some funny moments and of course there are bodacious babes this one definitely leans into the sexy chicks and like i said this is more of ghoulies with a animal house flavor in there so you must go into this film understanding that th this is that kind of movie you know what i mean they very much leaned heavy heavy comedy they erased all the horror elements they didn't even try to be scary this one is very much heavy like look at some of these kills and the shots so yeah expect like slapsticky kind of three stooges almost comedy when it comes to the ghoulies themselves because the ghoulies characters actually talk and in terms of the comedy and the tone of the film like i said it's much more an animal house meets ghoulies type tone now let's get into the mixed and negatives because sadly there was not too many positives like i said very very light on the positives like and you know some of those are just going to earn you the smallest amount of points and in terms of negatives is that they didn't really listen to me when it comes to the horror element in terms of this third film they just completely didn't even try to go for horror elements this is very comedy heavy and like i said there are moments that i did laugh there are some very silly moments that you're gonna find funny but it's much more let's throw everything at the wall and let's see what sticks also, I was a little taken back by the fact that the ghoulies talk in this one. They are larger. It seems like every movie, the ghoulies get bigger, and now they speak. And that is something that I didn't like at all. I found it very much more interesting when they were smaller in size, and they didn't talk, and they just made noises and stuff like that. I think that design and that you know portrayal of the ghoulies was much more entertaining and much more up my alley. This one is just like, it takes me out of the movie more often than not. And also with this one, I hate the fact that, like, you know, you just have to get... I guess that's just the Ghoulies franchise. You just have to get used to the fact that they ignore the previous film completely. This one, like I said, in terms of rules, like, why? How did the porcelain freaking, you know toilet that is like this magical toilet how did it end up at this frat house why are they able to be summoned through a comic book you know you just kind of have to go into these movies and not have any answers to those questions you had to basically be comfortable with the fact you're not going to get answers to those questions so it's like ah 
I hate that fact where I'm like, you can't, they don't acknowledge the previous film at all. Like there's no, you know, lore stuff. There's changes to the incantation, the ghoulies characters, the look, the sizes. Like it's just, you know, who cares? We don't care what the previous directors and the writers and all that stuff. So to me, it comes off as almost disrespectful when you do that sometimes. So as you can tell, Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College, left me with, you know, it's more to be just desired. Like, I really did. I wanted to go into this film and enjoy it so much more. There's a lot of aspects where I'm like, they could have nailed this a lot better. I just wanted more horror elements. And with it being 91, like I said, you could have pushed the boundaries even more. When you go into the 90s, this is when horror films were really pushing the boundaries. I mean, we're talking about Hellraiser, Candyman, you know, like a Scream eventually changing the slasher franchise and revitalizing that. So the 90s has some really cool stuff in there. And this film is just like, it was kind of half-hearted, almost like a TV movie. Besides the fact that, like I said, we have the nudity and the bodacious babes in here. It did have that almost lower budget TV movie vibe to it. So Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College, sadly in my book, is not going to get a very strong rating. It gets some points, like I said, for some of the small amounts of positives that it had, but it's just kind of an average film for me. So it's going to sit at a 5.5 out of 10. Yeah, Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College, just not really my jam. So far, this one I think is probably the weakest in the franchise for me so far. Like I said, Ghoulies 2, definitely the more tone and what I wanted in terms of setting, characters, all that kind of stuff. This one, like I said, we do have some cool, stylish, charisma characters. I did forget to mention that in positives. There are a couple characters here and there that do shine. But in terms of just character development, character story, or arcs, nothing. There's nothing really there at all. So 5.5 out of 10 for Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College. But thank you for sticking around with me all for this rad movie review. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I drop a video. Because most importantly, like I said, we got the Ghoulies 4 film we're going to be rad movie review coming out for that and then we're going to rank all these films and then of course drop a couple more anime horror videos and then i probably have a special video coming up because my birthday is coming up later this month on the 16th so i might be dropping a special birthday video or maybe i'll be doing a live ask me anything maybe shout me out in the comments what you think i should do should i do a cool fun new birthday video or should i do an ask me anything live i would love to hear from all of you but you know most importantly what's up have a safe and happy day peace out